we have made immoral behavior far more profitable. We have, in the course of the changes in our society, been establishing greater and greater incentives on people to behave in ways that most of us regard as immoral. It's new, it's automatic, it dictates, records, seals, sterilizes, stamps and delivers in one operation without human hand. In the last 50 years of, of business, companies are rewarded based on one metric, and that is profit. 20th century model of capitalism has one rule in its operating system. Get the big money, you make a pile and raise a pile. We've reached a million, two million, five million. Watch us grow. Wow, this is, this is great. This is a good ride, isn't it? Are you going to do something about it? Are you going to do something about it? Oh, okay. Well, then let's just keep going. But no, there's some people who will stop and go, no, guys, let's check this out. So there was a meeting in Gold Hill, Colorado of about 40 people. It included entrepreneurs who went into business to try to make a difference. We're in an era of more transparency, more information. They can't get away with uncareful behavior anymore. They need to be very, very diligent about how they serve the communities that they work in. There's a real need to reinvent capitalism. We need to redefine what corporations are. Why not take business as a tool to achieve a more progressive result? The purpose of running this great business is actually to have that impact in the neighborhood. Gone are the days of organizations taking and not giving. When the penny dropped that entrepreneurship was actually a really powerful social change thing, I sort of thought of it as like you're kind of like a pirate on the high seas of capitalism. So get paid, do good, and this is your legacy. Seems really cut and dry, right? <laughs>